Hi, I'm George Musali. And I'm Janan Musali. We are the father daughter real estate team with Caldwell Banker Realty in Pasadena. And welcome to our very first episode where we are featuring small businesses in the greater Pasadena and Altadena communities. And for our first business spotlight, we are so excited to show you a new business that's going to be opening soon the Wild Parrot Brewing Company. And we can't wait to show you what they're going to be doing. So this is John and Kirsten Jackson, and in the coming weeks, you guys are going to be opening your doors, and you're going to be bringing the Pasadena community some absolutely fantastic beers. So John and Kirsten, what brought you over here, and how did it all get started? Well, uh, God, it got started probably about 11 years ago uh, at a homebrew shop in Eagle Rock. Um, we've done a bunch of block parties and fundraisers, and things exploded over time, and we decided to go professional with it. Wow, that's awesome. That's <laughs> And tell us, why did you choose this location and what was the inspiration that brought you here and that got it all started? Right, yeah. Well, we live about two blocks away. Oh, that's awesome. So um, we wanted to create a place that we wanted to go to, that our friends wanted to go to. And that their kids wanted to go to. Too. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to do a family-friendly thing. Um, East Pasadena, our part of Pasadena, doesn't really have much uh, in the ways of cool hangout spots, so yeah. that's what the vision is. That's awesome. That's awesome. And tell us, other than beer, what other things are you going to be serving here? We're going to start with a pretty basic menu. Um, it's going to have a big pretzel with some dipping sauces, grilled cheese sandwich, a hummus platter and nachos um, with carnitas on top. Yeah. And um, we'll also have non-alcoholic beverages uh, and we'll be serving cider and wine as well. Nice. That's great. Yeah. And why don't you tell us the most important part, what are your hours of operation going to be? Well, it's pretty cool because we're in here with a coffee shop, and so they're going to be open in the mornings, and then we'll come in in the afternoons, except on weekends. We'll have overlapping time, um, and we'll be open till 10 o'clock at night, um, and then on the weekends, we'll be open till 11. Oh, that's awesome. So people can just walk on by from the neighborhood and come here, get a coffee, have some beer, get have, a beer. Some curve, have some nachos. There's lots of space to run lots around, space, yeah. and I think you guys are going to be opening up a beer garden in the back. It's still under construction. Yep. Yeah, we've got to get through some of the, the heat of the summer, but once we get through that, we'll have some plants and some shade sales and a little area for kids and people to just hang out and enjoy the outside. That's amazing. That's amazing. And the most important thing is, how many kinds of beer are you going to be serving? <laughs> well, let's see. To, to start off, we're going to have six. Uh, we have it on the menu board over here, and I'll give you a taste here in a few minutes. Oh, my gosh. I yeah. can hardly wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then eventually, um, we hope to have about ten on tap once things get, get rolling. Oh, that's wow. amazing. That's amazing. We can't wait. So, John, why don't you walk us through the space and kind of show us about all the beer that you're going to be brewing and bringing to this place? Sure. Yeah. Well, this is this is a system right here, and we designed this space so that it's fully open to the seating area. That was like the driving concept behind nice. the design. Um, the, the quick and dirty on it is that this is a seven-barrel system, which in layman's terms is about 200 gallons of finished beer. Uh, it's brewed right here. There's Colorado Boulevard. There's our brew house. So on brew days, you can literally watch me shoveling grain. Um, and then it gets brewed here and it's into the fermenters here and it stays there from anywhere for from a week to, to three weeks before wow. it goes into the tanks over there. All right, so here are our taps. We've got 12 of them. Um, here it comes right here. It's made over in that brewery, but it's stored over here in the cold room. And here, you'll see our serving tanks. Each of those holds about 200 gallons of beer, and they are tied directly into those taps. All right, now for the fun part. Um, why don't you walk us through your lineup, and yeah. then we get to try some beers. Fantastic. All right, so we start off with, uh, this is called Doug Heavy, named after a buddy of mine, um, and it is a American-style lager. So uh, for people who are kind of new to craft beer, this is most similar to the beer that they're most typically um, drinking macro groups. Um, this is a, uh, a German style pilsner, so 100% German malts and noble hops. Wow. You guys want to start off with those two? Right Fantastic. Yeah, you take the lighter All right, I'll take the lighter one. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So the second one, this is, uh, this is our amber lager, Vienna style lager. We call it the porch chill. This is a, a homebrew recipe that um, I enjoy making and drinking on our porch with friends. Therefore, so the this name. is one of the original beers that you this tried. Is, that yeah. you this, were is, this is actually the first beer we, we brewed. Oh, cool! Um, uh, so it's uh, also a lager, 
And then this here is the Margadina, um, named by Kirsten here. I like margaritas. I do too. <laughs> and it's a light beer. It's, um, and it's got a lime flavor in it. Amazing. Right, slightly sour. sour. Yeah, do you mind if I try that one? No, you try that. All right, perfect. Right. Cheers. Cheers. So yeah, that lime one that I just tried, um, the Marga Margadina, that was amazing. I'm not a huge beer drinker, but I like a beer, and that was perfect if you like something that's a little bit lighter and fresh. That was delicious. Awesome. Glad you like it. All right, then to uh, wrap things up, we've got the uh, the Pandemonium IPA. Pandemonium being a flock of parrots, hence the, uh, <laughs> hence the name. Uh, so this is a, a West Coast and IPA. For those of you that don't know, Pasadena has wild parrots, and they come nest in the trees, and it's the loudest thing you've ever heard. Yeah, they're a menace. <laughs> they're a total yeah, menace. The flight is called, a uh, flock is called. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, and then this is our uh, coffee stout, um, and this was um, with six pounds of coffee beans by a local roaster, uh, Lotus Coffee. Um, so is it caffeinated? Yeah, a little marginally. Bit. I, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, perfect. So maybe start with this one to pick you up, and then you can continue drinking throughout yep, the night. Yeah, we call it the suburban weekend. <laughs> you uh, you start with coffee in the morning, then you transfer to alcohol at night. I love it. I love it. Okay, well, cheers, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. Successful business. Thank you very much. And. Uh, May it flourish and grow and may a lot of people enjoy it. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so much for giving us the tour of this amazing place. We are so excited for you to open your doors in the coming weeks and we'll be sure to let everybody know when you do open. And uh, best of luck to you. We'll definitely be beer drinking some beer with you guys and supporting you and congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and next time we'll use bigger cups. <laughs>